Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have all of your Tesla stock breaking news and information that you need to know. We will also talk about that wicked end of the day sell off that we've seen on Friday. What's happening and what to expect next in markets and Tesla. So do me a quick favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you find value out of this video, keep that in mind and let's get started. So again, just to point out, Tesla had a rough Thursday, was down over 8%, had a strong Friday up over 3%, again and tesla stock is likely to be volatile for a period of time but i do think it's likely tesla does well heading into tesla earnings in which earnings are going to be on july 23rd and the big question is do we get the unveil of new products what kind of new information do we get is the robo taxi event actually delayed from my knowledge you haven't seen tesla or elon actually officially confirm that so that's going to be another big uh story if you will on tesla's earnings july 23rd but we already know what to expect on a lot of your different metrics profitability is going to be great free cash flow is going to be great you know margins all of that is, is is going to be good we already know because tesla reports their deliveries ahead of time so really the big question is, what's next? What do we get these new models that are announced? If we do, that's going to be the next big catalyst for Tesla before the robo taxi event. It seems like right now, Wall Street is focused on two things with Tesla, and, and that's it. That is the new models, the new cheaper models, and the robo taxi event. Those are the two biggest catalysts. In some news here, Elon Musk retweets a post saying Tesla robo taxis are a ticking time bomb. Elon believes Tesla is about to solve autonomy. And Wedbush analyst Dan Ives says Tesla's robo taxi event will be a historical day, whether it's on a 8 or 1010. He says what matters is the event is a jaw dropper. Tesla Megapack on X posted this, one of the largest battery sites in the US featuring a 200 megawatt, 800 megawatt hour of Megapacks, Evron's Condor Energy Storage pro Project has repurposed a retired steam plant site to enhance grid stability in San Bernardino County, California, and you can see a ton of Tesla mega packs. It's being reported that recent Model Y rear wheel drive buyers in the US can now unlock 50 extra miles of range for $1,600. Mercedes delivered 45,800 EVs in Q2 2024, down 25% year over year, the company announced. EVs now make up 9.2% of all their cars sold, down from 12% in Q2 2023. And it appears like these environmental activists in Germany have lost their whole minds at this point, um, throwing what looks to be paint all over the Cybertruck and standing there with signs. Apparently, they don't realize that Tesla is the company that began the world's transition from fossil fuel burning vehicles to zero emission vehicles. And the Tesla is not the enemy. I mean, what is this? This is this is getting out of control over in Germany. And Mr. Beast gave away 10 Tesla Cybertrucks in his video that was posted today with 50 YouTubers with a combined 1 billion subscribers that competed in the video. And Elon reposted it and said, cool. Tesla Malaysia begins Model 3 performance deliveries over 100 units to be delivered this weekend. And the Tesla Model Y was China's best-selling NEV in the first half of 2024. And apparently, this is the transcript from the court meeting that says, Your Honor, I'm not anywhere near as smart as Elon. These are the lawyers that are trying to get the $7 billion um, pay from, from Tesla for their work that was null and void anyways. Yeah, kind of crazy. They say, I'm not anywhere near as smart as Elon Musk, and I will never pretend to be. But you've got to assume that if you give us the shares, we're not going to run to the market to dump them all. 
at once. In fact, to address any shareholders' concerns, and if your honor has these concerns too, I'll make two undertakings to the court on the record. First undertaking, we will engage and instruct market professionals to time the sale of any shares we receive in such a way as not to impact the trading market. Second, to the extent we own any shares when votes are held, we will vote the shares precisely as recommended by ISS or Glass Lewis and not in any other way. To be clear, your honor, I just want to make this very clear on the record. We have no intention of dumping shares to drive the price down. We have no intention of becoming long-term shareholders to become a thorn in Mr. Musk's or anyone else's side. In fact, they're not a thorn in our side. As Elon Musk puts it, they are contemptible parasites on the neck of Tesla. For text, we have short interest of free float at 3.8%, $25.37 billion currently sold short in Tesla. And that is about 105.25 million shares that are sold short, so still a massive short position. On Friday, you had returned shares of 4.18 million and borrowed shares of 908,000. That means there was actually about 3.25 million shares that were covered on Friday relative to what was um, sold short or borrowed. So that's actually uh, showing the first day of, of shorts covering in larger numbers option activity on friday was quite negative as well from big money at least the interesting flow sentiment was was quite negative you had 45 different orders totaling 30.12 million dollars with a positive order value of 17 percent although a lot of the trades coming through for next week were very positive in the last couple of minutes of the trading day all of these are july 19th 250 calls worth anywhere from a million dollars here 360,000 there 116,000 160,000 300,000 and a vast majority of the option activity that you've seen on Friday was actually quite positive but there was some you know larger standout put trades that that skews some of these numbers a bit but I do think it's safe to say some participants in the markets are coming around to Tesla and they're starting to realize like, hey, maybe we missed something. Maybe we missed something great with Tesla and maybe we don't want to be short Tesla as much anymore. Maybe we want to be long Tesla now to some capacity. And I think that's mainly what you have seen so far for Tesla stock. And I don't think that's going to end anytime soon with Tesla stock still like 40% off of all-time highs, breaking above your, your you know, long-term downtrending trend line. These are all, um, you know, very positive things. And you get into next-gen vehicles, cheaper vehicles um, that are available next year, as per the latest guidelines we have from Tesla. You get into the RoboTaxi event that could launch the RoboTaxi next year. And these are seriously catalysts you do not want to bet against. No matter what's going on in the economy, no matter what's going on in the markets, these are just too big of things to bet against. Now, obviously, if the economy goes, you know, down the toilet, then that would obviously be a problem. I'm not saying it's not going to be a problem, but as, as long as things are OK out there in the economy, then I think the focus is solely on Tesla. You did see on Friday the RSP. This is the equal weight S&P that did go higher as well, as well as that. The Russell 2000 went higher and it's it's been just pretty bullish across the board for the broader markets. I mean, the equal weight S&P hit a new all time high on Friday. But I do think this end of the day sell off that you've seen in the S&P um, in the last, you know, 15, 20 minutes of the trading day on Friday is quite alarming um, for what we can maybe expect next week. It seems like a, a, a lot of this rally in small caps, you know, equal weight S&P could have just been a short squeeze. There's been a lot of guys on Wall Street throwing that idea around that this wasn't a fundamental shift and a, you know, fundamental rope rotation it was just a tactical short squeeze and yeah that could be problematic if that's what happened but we will have to wait and see there are you know important events happening next week that will give us a little bit more clarity on this over on stock twit sentiment for tesla is extremely bearish at 20 yesterday it was extremely bearish at 18 so you know a lot of retail 
still not getting behind this rally for Tesla, which just tells me there's probably a lot more upside left in Tesla stock from here. Message volume is high at 68 today. It was high at 70 yesterday, and the participation ratio is at 54. Google Trends for full self-driving sitting at 20 around where we have been recently and higher than where you were before this free trial. So things still look good there. And Google Trends still look really good for really all of your Tesla products. The Cybertruck's falling a little bit from 77 to 66, but overall it's still so strong that this drop, you know, doesn't mean anything. The Model 3 is ramping up quite a bit from 23 to 26. The Model Y is staying flat at about 26 for quite a while here. And the, the Model S is going from 10 to 11, and the Model X is actually decreasing from nine to eight. But overall, very healthy, strong Google Trends data. And this is the best indicator we can see of what US demand looks like on any you know given period in time and tesla continues to run about 4,000 different ads with google global inventory numbers are starting to rise yet again the model y at about 5,500 the model 3 at 4,200 model x at 3,400 and the model s at about 2,900 so let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section in the next video we will be going over tesla earnings specifically what i'm expecting out of tesla's stock um, from now until then, as well as what we can expect in broader markets coming next week. So hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you in the next one.